Good morning. In opening our program, I'm pleased to invite your attention to two powerful ideas. Sense-making and making sense. They're at the heart of the human condition. How we perceive and act, how we learn, feel, play, work, and imagine. Throughout the day, you will see the repercussions of these powerful ideas and how our technologies are leveraging them. Humans are preeminently sense-making animals from infancy. What does this mean? Can I explain that? Why is this happening now? Even Remy, the wise rat in Disney's Ratatouille movie, recognizes the open nature of the world and its unfolding events. He tells us the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. We seek patterns to find order and predictability in the worlds that we experience. The physical, the social, the representational worlds all play central roles in human cognition and sense-making. Learning scientists, what do we do? We study how children and adults learn to employ the sense-making apparatus to engage in sense-making activities. We look at how they use our brains, our bodies, all of our sensory modalities. Humans also make meanings. We're producing sense all the time. With spoken word, with gesture, with symbolic representations, with information and communication technologies, and here we've come up with a growing palette of ways to do this. We started with written language, images, mathematics, now social media, programmable language expressions, tangible user interfaces, immersive worlds and games, social robots. People expect others to produce meanings much as they do. In interactions, we see the intertwining of humans as meaning makers and as sense makers. This is the exciting stuff. I look forward to exploring with you today the emerging works at the frontiers of sense making and making sense. Thank you. Thank you.